and Mary. My name is Danielle Foster and I'm playing the role of Val. Well, I saw the casting on Craigslist and I saw the descriptions for all the different roles and I was like, hmm, this is something I can be a part of. And plus the title, Young, Broke, and Married. I don't have the married part, but I have the young and the broke part. I have that pretty damn packed. <laughs> I've been in LA for about six years now. I'm originally from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I came out here to pursue my dream of becoming an actress. So um, before YBM, I was just submitting myself, going on auditions, you know. It's kind of, you know, like doing it over and over again, and that brought me here. Me and Val are very similar when it comes to the, the clothing and the shopping and things like that. I love to shop, love to shop. Um, I also like her personality when she's meeting new people and she's around new people. Um, I pride myself in Southern hospitality. I'm one of those people, I feel like I'm a social butterfly. If I'm around you, I like to make you feel at home. And she has that. She's one of those people, she's charming. She's charming to people she really don't know. <laughs> frugal some people may call it cheap but you have to be that way here in LA um, I love to shop but I can recognize when I'm broke Val doesn't recognize that she's broke she doesn't care um, I think in her head she feels like she's a trophy wife and her husband takes care of everything and her husband doesn't even make that much money and it's a lot of women out here that are very delusional and they're thinking they're trophy wives when they're really not so I don't play that. If I'm broke, I'm broke, and sometimes I'm broke with an attitude. I want to see Val get her priorities together. Um, she's been in school for 10 years now. It's time to get that degree, whatever she's trying to get her degree in. Um, she needs to get her priorities together. Is it really the right time to have a child? I mean, she doesn't work. She's a full-time college student. Her husband works at the coffee shop. He does not own the coffee shop. He works at the coffee shop. So he's not bringing that much money in and he all he already has to take care of Val. Val is basically his child. He does everything for her. So I don't think Val is ready. Val, we have to get our stuff together. We gotta get our priorities together. I'm ready to see you graduate in the next season. So I just want Val to get her priorities in order. What shocks me the most is the relationship between Val and Marco. Val is very blunt. She says whatever she feels. She's full rotten. She says whatever she wants. The fact that she just calls him fat ass all the time with no problem. I, I would never do that. That's so rude. Even if it's true, you shouldn't say it out loud. And I hope all of the cities out here in LA don't do this. I was just thinking about it. I love to say the plastic bags, but you know, it's some places out here in LA that have stopped that whole plastic bag thing and they charge you 10 cent for a paper bag. I'm not paying 10 cent for a paper bag, but anyway, while I was on that tangent. So the plastic bags that I get, I save them and I use them as trash bags. I think this is the best thing ever. You know the little small trash can you have in your bathroom, they fit perfectly. And then that way I don't have to spend my money on the real trash bags, I just use those. It's, it's great, I think everyone should try it and that's my way of recycling. And that's my YBM confession. Don't judge me. <laughs>